Hans-Ulrich Rudel scored 11 aerial victories, which compared to the previously mentioned scores seems insignificant by comparison. And yet Rudel was the most highly decorated German soldier of World War II. The Eagle of the Eastern Front, as he was known, was the commander of the Immelmann Stuka squadron, and he was the only soldier to receive the highest German decoration for bravery, the golden oak leaves with swords and diamonds to his Knight's Cross. With 3,530 combat missions flown and his total of successes, he remains unbeaten in all times and in all nations. He stands far in front of all the world's renowned aerial aces. But his successful victory score wasn't tallied up on aircraft, for he flew in combat in his Stuka dive bomber against targets on the ground. In low-level attacks, often in the heaviest defensive fire in his slow cannon bird, he destroyed a staggering 519 Soviet tanks, 17 of them on the same day. In addition to this list of scores achieved by the Stuka pilot who became a living legend, we can also add, amongst others, one battleship, one battle cruiser, one destroyer, 70 landing craft, 11 confirmed aircraft, plus hundreds of motor vehicles, numerous artillery, anti-tank and anti-aircraft positions, as well as armoured convoys and bridges. Twelve comrades, six Stuka crews, were saved by him from capture or death. When he tried to rescue another crash-landed crew from Russian territory in 1944, he was taken prisoner. He escaped and fled with a bullet in his shoulder, covering some 50 kilometers through Russian defenses to reach the safety of the German lines. Shot more than 30 times by ground fire, never once by a fighter plane, wounded five times, this intrepid fighter pilot took a direct hit and lost his right leg. Just six weeks later, and despite orders not to, he was flying again in combat and remained on active duty until the last day of the war. Field Marshal Ferdinand Schorner once said, Rudel alone takes the place of a whole division. 